everyone, we are live at 5 here at Broadway.com. It is Wednesday matinee day, Two April 17th. Day. I'm Paul Wontorek. I'm Beth Stevens. And we're joined by Caitlin Moynihan. Hello. And a Broadway star who just came from matinee. Yes. John Bellman's here from, from Tootsie. Tootsie. He's hilarious. It's a brand new musical based on one of our favorite movies, maybe ever. Uh, oh, yeah. we'll, we'll get to John, but first, today's top five. These boys are going from the stage to the screen. I love this news. I love this news. The Boys in the Band is being made into a film uh, by Ryan Murphy, a Netflix movie. And here's the great news. They're using the original cast of the Broadway revival. All of the boys That's will great. Be so in the who band. are the boys? Remind us. Let me tell you. Matt Bomer, yep. Zachary Quinto, Jim Parsons, Andrew Rannells, aren't you excited? Robin DeJesus, Brian Hutchison, uh, Michael Benjamin Washington, Tuck Watkins, and Charlie Carver as Cowboy. He so many of them were in this room. Many a of them year have ago. been in this room. <laughs> 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 in this room. Many all, of them been in this have room. been in this room. Let me just give you a little more information. It will begin filming in July, and it okay. will be released in 2020. Well, this is interesting because Ryan Murphy, of course, produced the show on Broadway. Yes, and this co-produced. Is, and he has a, with right. David Stone Correct. and Ned Martell is also uh, doing the movie. Okay, but this is you know he has this Netflix. We talked about this when they announced the prom because yes. he has this Netflix deal. He has to make a lot of content, and it's fun that he's like looking looking yeah, to Broadway. Yeah, but he's respecting the Broadway actors. Yeah, we like that. I like it. And congratulations are in order for these fresh nominees. So, Beth, it's awards season. <laughs> Our favorite season of all the seasons. And so the Drama League Awards, um, the 85th Annual Drama League Awards. Mm -hmm. So this is the award where the 53 actors get into a big cage and fight and one wins. Oh, I thought they just <laughs> went to a luncheon. It's a huge, bloody battle no, for one trophy. <laughs> That's fake news right there. <laughs> Actually, they go to a nice luncheon, they make little speeches, yeah, they cry, they hug each other, they pose for photos, and then one of them wins. Uh, but they also give Only out one. like musical award, yes. a, a musical award, a play, a revival, all that stuff too. And this year, they will also be giving Kelly O'Hara, who is one of the 53 people in the cage, by the way. <laughs> the um, she's getting a Distinguished Achievement in Musical Theater Award, which takes the pressure off her cage battle, I guess. Um, Alex Timbers. Uh, the director of Beetlejuice and Moulin Rouge, who's getting the Founders Award for Excellence in Directing. And Pulitzer finalist playwright Taylor Mack, whose play Gary opens on Sunday, um, is winning a unique contribution to Theater Award. This is all happening at the Marriott Marquis on May 17th at 11.30 a.m. So this is, by the way, what they do is um, only two people from each show Get nominated. I just nominated. wanted to say two things about this. Okay. One, the boys in the band were not uh, eligible because they didn't okay. invite them, so don't worry. That's why they're not on there. But they're having a movie, okay. so they're good. Okay. And once you've won the Distinguished Performance of the Year Award, you, can never you win can't again. win again. So Nathan Lane and a few other people right. okay. are just going to probably be honored in another way. But by, the list, by the way, um, Caitlin, you very helpfully gave me some like some of the nominees, but I'm not playing favorites. I'm not going to look at the uh, list. If I'm not going to mention 53 people, you're not gonna read I'm all not going to mention be any. Helpful. So just go to Broadway.com <laughs> and read the full list. And good luck, everyone, in the cage. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> and it looks like I'm going to be spending all summer at the Muni. The Muni. Has Are you really? Because you don't have that much time. Off. I don't <laughs> have that Did much time. Not? Sorry. Wait, what? Uh, this is, not this like is how a, I tell you. It's not like a car ride away. You have to fly. <laughs> no, <away>. it's in <laughs> St. Louis. Bye. <laughs> it's a giant outdoor theater. And I just want to say, although you, were, you didn't want to read all 53 names of the Drama League, there are about 53 names here that I'm going to have <laughs> to read. Just read the highlights. Because it's a lot of Broadway people. Going where? To the, mu to to the, the Muni. And where is that? St. Louis Outdoor Theater. I just said that. Okay. Summer <laughs> Theater, June 10th through August 11th. Uh huh. Oh. All right, I'm going to start with the one that caught our eye. Jeremy Kushner, who originated the role of Ren in Footloose, which is I, a musical. I feel like I helped him come up with this idea. Really? Well, we did that interview oh, with him. Oh, we did? And he said, maybe I can play the Reverend next time in Footloose. And now what's he playing? The Reverend. Reverend Shaw Footloose. Moore. So that will be July 18th through the 24th. Let me just read off some of these other people. Um, Guys and Dolls, with yep. Jordan Gelber as Nathan Detroit okay. and Kendra Kasbaum as Miss Adelaide. Okay. Fancy, fancy, fancy. Taylor Louderman's going back to Kinky Boots with J. Harrison Gee. And, uh, oh my gosh, there's a lot here <laughs> to go through. Um, uh, Cinderella with Michaela Bennett. Jason Gote. Oh. Ashley Brown mm. and Vicki Lewis. Oh, well, we just, love her. I just saw her <laughs> on the street. <laughs> uh, but I guess she's going there. Mamie Paris. And Matt Bogart will is, be in Paint Your Wagon. Which nobody knows that show. I don't know what that is. We'll I want to know it, though. I'm going to go. Maybe yeah, that, that's maybe all. Maybe I'll that's go. One I don't know to. that show. 
<laughs> and listen to this one, Matilda, starring Will Swenson <laughs> as Miss Trunchbull, Anne Harada as Mrs. Wormwood, that's the loud character, uh -huh. Josh Grizzetti as Mr. Wormwood, and Laura Michelle Kelly as Miss Honey. Okay, that's a really, okay, that's, all, that's a strong All good stuff, that's all a good stuff. Cast. So join Caitlin at the Muni <laughs> this summer. <laughs> <laughs> and you have even more time to catch this off-Broadway show. Oh, it's Curse of the Starving Class, everybody. And that's Sam Shepard's um, fantastic play. And it was supposed to run through May 26th. Now it will run through June 2nd. Terry Kinney, a little bit of a Sam Shepard legend he knows himself, too, is yeah. directing. This is at Pershing Square Signature Center. And it's a good play. Go see it. <laughs> and we are going way down starting tonight. Happy to Hades Town. Happy opening. Yes. To Hades Town, uh, we have show clips on the site, so you can check out what it looks like and some songs. We have. Um, oh, we're gonna have a lot tomorrow. By the way, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot we're that a we're lot. gonna be at Hades Town all over tomorrow, and we have some more things to talk about because there's more on Broadway.com. And I'm going to get out what of here. What else? What's that? Oh, well, you know, we've been talking about our Citizens of Mockingbird uh, feature right. that's rolling out every day. Yeah. And today we have Banga Akina Bay, who plays mm -hmm. Tom Robinson. Yep. Uh, we have a little interview that Miss Moynihan did with supermodel Christy Brinkley in her uh, third stint in Chicago. Uh, I like still home. love her so She's much. She's so nice. Uptown girl. Oh. She's an uptown girl. <gasps> it's and it's next door. And... This is such a sweet thing. Yeah. So we, we, as you remember, uh, Jason Daniel, he sat right here and told us about uh, the cancer support community. Well, yeah. they had their award uh, gala, and they awarded Ashley Park, which we also talked about. We've got some gorgeous photos of that. That photo. Maren Maisie's dear friends. I know. Donna Murphy. Donna Murphy. Who, who, who's uh, there? Deborah Monk, Deborah Karen Zienba. Monk, Karen Zienba. So it's an amazing photo. Who are and all Ashley. 20 winners. So, um, yeah. There you yeah. Go. It was a great night. I'm going to get out of here. Thank you, Beth. Thank you. Hey, Caitlin, tell everyone about John. Yes, gladly. Yes, we have John Bellman in the studio with us today because he is currently making his Broadway musical debut in Tootsie. Of course, that's based on the mus uh, comedy based on the 1982 movie of the same name. He, John has previously appeared on Broadway in Journey's End and Significant Other. We're going to hold that near and dear to our heart for always. Um, his screen credits include Riverdale, All My Children, Guiding Light, and a whole lot more. Follow him on social media at John Bellman. And please leave all of your questions in the comments below. Please welcome John and Paul. Thank you, Caitlin. John, how are you? Hi, doing great. Thank you for uh, spending your in-between shows time with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just hustled up here up about four blocks through the thick Times Square crowd after yeah. a matinee. Yeah. So yeah. doing a lot of it's like a lot. A fancy lot New York walking, that kind of yeah. like dodging motion. But, yeah. How yeah. was the matinee? Great. Our first Wednesday matinee ever. Oh, wow. Turns out it's okay. Because you guys have been in rehearsals. Yes. You've been balancing rehearsals with performances. Yeah, this is our first full eight-show week. Wow, and you're so, about a week away from opening. Yeah, we right? open on next Tuesday, the 23rd. Exciting. So, very exciting. So, yeah. musical debut. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, is, does everybody want to do a musical? Is that is that a true statement? Uh, is this something you were pining for? I, you know, I, if you had told me that I was going to be in a Broadway musical <laughs> about 15 years ago, I would have laughed you out of the room. Or so like 20 years ago. Whatever. So you I mean, weren't like the star of Guys and Dolls in high school? I actually literally was the star of Guys and Dolls in high school, but that's where I thought <laughs> Wait, it was going to end. Really? <laughs> yes. No, you I were truly Scott was. Masterson? I played Scott what? Masterson. How did I predict that? My senior year of high school. <laughs> So, yes, you nailed it. That is amazing. Yeah. But you thought you would leave it. You thought you would leave it in Havana. Yeah. But no. That's right. You well, are back. I'm back. In a, in a big Broadway musical. Big Broadway. It's fun to be in a show that I've only ever been in Broadway plays where you always feel like, oh, gosh, just one more week. Just give us one more week. Let's, <laughs> let's stay open. But right. To be in a big, 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 fancy, splashy musical is well, great. Because people do love musicals. People love to go see a brand new musical. Yeah, it turns out that's true. Yeah, it's yeah. a thing. It's yeah. a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing. So come on out. Okay, so let's talk about this Tootsie because yeah. this is not the Tootsie I grew up with. This no. is sort of a, a reboot of, yeah. of, of the takes the the basic framework of what Tootsie is, and it's about an actor, Michael Dorsey. Mm -hmm. Santino Fontana plays Michael, who is desperate for work. Yes. Is that something that you've ever experienced as, a, as an actor? You seem to be doing pretty well. I've, no, I've never been desperate for work in my entire life. I <laughs> always work exactly when I want to, as much as I want to. That's a truism for all actors. This is an so. emotion that actors can really get yeah. behind. Yeah. Um, and so he, he goes in and ends up getting a, a role that was written for a woman and pretends like he's a woman. That's basically the right. in, in a Broadway musical. So it right. originally was a soap opera yes. in the movie. And now it's a musical. So there's sort of a fun show within a show element right, right, to all right, of right. this. And how do you fit in, okay. sir? So if you know Tootsie, the movie, 
uh, then you don't know my character. No, because I know. I am no the only part. new character in the Correct. show. Right. Okay. Um, the closest... and you're a very modern character. Yes. Yes. So, it, like you said, it took place in a soap opera in the movie. Yeah. Now it's in a musical, and it's contemporary as opposed to set in the '80s. Yep. And, uh, and I play the star of the show within the show that right. Santino's character gets a job in, and I am a reality show star. Yes. Hired I to roll. sell tickets. I roll emoji. Yeah. Right. I, I am the winner of Race to Bachelor Island. Okay. Sure. And I have won that show, and now I'm branching out, and I'm in a Broadway musical, and hopefully going to sell a lot of tickets to Juliet's Curse. Right. The musical that we are performing within the show. Right. Yeah. And his name is Max. Max. Correct. Max Van Horn. Okay, yeah. Max Van Horn. Yeah. And is Max a an intelligent actor? What, what, what is Max? Let's talk uh, about him. What's his training like? Ma ma his training is um, mostly physical training, okay. like you would do for the gym for a reality show. Right. He's not a trained actor. Right. Um, so, well, he's taken some act. He has an acting teacher. Sure. But he's not the brightest guy. No, but he's putting effort into he's it. He's very, he's an earnest trier. He's an earnest, And right. likes really, really, really wants to do a good job. Uh -huh. And when Dorothy uh, teaches him to be a better actor, we think, he thinks, um, there's some misplaced feelings about that. Mm. So I think I've improved, and that improvement gets maybe placed onto my teacher mm -hmm. as a, you know, so there's some confusion. And when Max is on stage and maybe insecure about his talents, what, what, what do you think he would do? Uh, well, his quickest instinct is to remove his shirt. Correct. So that, that's, I remember that. Yeah. I, I saw the show, and there's mm -hmm. a lot of that. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. a lot of shirt removal. Yes. <laughs> that's like, you know, when you're in reality TV, I guess that's what you're taught. That's like, well, <laughs> when all else fails, just take your clothes off. Yeah. Maybe get drunk and yeah, make the hot out tub scenes. Exactly. I'm sure there were good yeah. hot tub scenes yeah, on that show. Bring the hot show. tub to you. Right. Really <laughs> yeah. yeah. If there's no hot tub, make the hot tub happen wherever you are. So oh, you're God. using your body for laughs. You're getting a lot of laughs. Um, I am using my body for laughs. But, I mean, yeah. it looks great. I mean, did you hit the gym hard? Was Were you nervous about the, uh, the skin element? This is not the first time right. I have um, been a skin Type element casting? in uh, the Broadway community. <laughs> so uh, significant other, there was also a scene, which is yes. and maybe more, it was more nerve-wracking because I had to stand there still and have my body described oh, in a monologue okay, by Gideon yeah. Glick. Right. Um, so this is a little more fun in that way. Okay. It's just a little, you know, and it, you know. Right. So, so no I, extra work at the gym. Just like, I mean, maybe got that. Extra. I try not I to be it. a maniac about it. Right. So okay. I'm still a normal person. Just enough so that I can still have a drink at night and not feel, you know. Yeah. Underwhelmed. So <laughs> what is it like building a new Broadway musical? Musical comedy? So there's... there's comedy new... musical. Comedy... Oh, I'm sorry. That's our tagline. Okay. So... <laughs> right. Okay. I'm yeah. so sorry. You sit corrected. <laughs> so, so uh, and you, you did the out-of-town run? I did. Right? Yeah, we and all did. Everyone from... You were in all the readings and mm -hmm. the, lab, the lab, the chemistry, at the... Well, you, yes. You were, you've been involved in this. I've been you've involved, been yeah. helping to build this show. Yeah, it's been a relatively short process yeah. as far mm -hmm. as development goes for me. Like, it's been a couple of years, two years. We did a bunch of readings of it, and then we did it in Chicago. By the way, I've been waiting for like 20 years for this to be a musical. Right. Well, I think the musical has been like waiting for 20 years to happen. Just all of us weren't involved until recently. Right. Um, so it's... What's it like? What's it, what's it like watching it come together? It's... I mean, we have the best... People working on Robert Horn, our book writer. Yeah. I think the book is. I just incredible. met him the other night at Paper. Uh, I went to the. Oh right, yeah, yeah. He said he went to that show. Yeah, he, yeah. He's a really nice guy. Hey, Robert. He's great. And yeah, so he wrote the. He wrote, wrote the, the book. book. Yep. Um, and it's the funniest book, Very of a, funny. like musical that I've ever been a part of, which isn't you know that's kind of <laughs> saying much, but certainly of like other things that's I've kind seen of what too. It's really, everyone's really funny. saying though that this is sort of like the funniest musical. It, it, like Great. everyone's talking about how funny it is. Great. Well, yeah. that's why we leave with the comedy musical instead of so the musical comedy. I guess. Okay. Not no fault of David Yazbek's. <laughs> right. He's so then great David Yazbek, the great David Yazbek, yeah. who's coming off a Tony win for the band's visit. Yeah. Um, wrote the and it's sort of more of a throwback to maybe his. Um, Full Monty, Dirty Rotten Scoundrel yeah. kind of scores. Yeah, our score is kind of like a lot of Middle Eastern themed music, and um, <laughs> no, not at all. Not. It's uh, not like that. Bouncy, it's urban, bouncy, modern, fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and some of the best song. I mean, David's music is so damn funny. Mm -hmm. Can I say damn one mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, you okay. could say more than that. Great. <laughs> um, so it's so funny, and he, especially the songs. Like I, I have a song in Act Two that I love. Sarah Styles has an amazing yes, song. All yes. these kind of 
side character comedic songs yeah. Yeah. are just gold. I think in this show. Yeah. So, so in well, addition to the other stuff, it's great. And so you've seen them. You've seen the show get built. It's kind of cool yeah. to be part of the process as an actor. It's right? great. And they were all everyone in the whole thing, especially Robert, were so generous about really writing to like you know he can write a thousand jokes every 10 seconds and he will tailor wow. them all to you to the actor like there have been points where he says okay we need a joke here which of these eight jokes do you like what Things really? like, yeah yeah it's great wow. I mean, the guy's a machine wow so um and then we get to kind of work through and try them out and our previews really have been a lot of like eh, let's swap this joke for that interesting see how it plays see how it sits on your character mm -hmm. no that's not a max joke that's a a Jeff joke and things yeah. like that, which is great. So it's also fun. I, I want to come back and see the show because it's fun when you get a group of actors like that. This is a fantastic cast, and I'm sure that just week to week, the rhythm of of what you guys are doing together yeah. keeps building. Yeah. So I'm really curious to see sort of how that's going. Are you guys having fun together? Yeah, yes. I mean, most. I've seen all the like Instagrams and all the social <laughs> right, media. Right, right, right. No, but that's all genuine, actually. I've I learned Austin things. dropping off candy and stuff. <laughs> I see yeah. all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, it's a good, it's a good time. It's great, and we all really bonded in Chicago, and we all really do actually like each other, which you know it doesn't always happen. Uh huh. Um, so who don't you like in general that you work? No, that's not. <laughs> You actually have done soap operas. I have done some soap yeah, operas. So, Back when soap operas yeah, were a that, thing, but I guess, I guess that's <laughs> why they had to uh, shift it a little bit, the, the story about, oh, what, yeah. Yeah, about the new... Yeah, yeah because the relevancy of a soap opera is not quite what it was in 1982. Right, right. So Yeah. What is it like um, seeing Santino in that drag up close? Like, I haven't seen it up close. I yeah. saw it like 15 rows back. It's 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 surprisingly not weird at all anymore because uh -huh. we've seen in rehearsal every phase of it where he's like fully done up for like a video shoot or photo shoot yeah. or something and he looks like a legit woman. You're like, I would not know who you are. Yeah. And other times when we're kind of in mid-rehearsal and he's got heels on and maybe like some eyelashes and a baseball cap and no wig or a wig. Mm -hmm. It's like everything in between that <laughs> we've seen. So it's we, we've seen more of him than his wife at this point, maybe. And so. you could maybe fall in love with, with um, I mean, you have to, as a, yeah. as a on stage, you kind of like, you kind of, yeah. you kind of Dorothy's kind of a, like a hot. Yeah, like, I mean, a lot, it's, a lot of, yeah. there's a lot, yeah. yeah. Yeah, what's not to love about <laughs> all that, so. You're very tall. How how tall was your um, was your um, Dora, Sarah Brown? Was she was she uh, towering she, over her? She was. Uh, I, I, yeah. <laughs> Although in high school it was more of a like slump, so I was towering, you, oh, you, but also oh, you, slumping. You, would you just slumped in general? Yeah. Well, you know, you're tall. You learned a lot of. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Posture you, you go to grad in your, school in your and suddenly you stand up straight. That's, you spend where, all that money on. Where did you grow up? Uh, in Houston, Texas. Oh, okay. Yeah. Texas. And in St. Louis, partly. I was listening to that Muni season. That's where oh. I was born. I didn't know Jordan Gilmer was going to be there. I love that. And Will. Look Will Swenson that. and Jordan and I worked together years ago on Bull Durham. So. Oh, Bull Durham. Yeah. Another movie turned musical that didn't yeah. come. Yeah. Yeah. hasn't. I mean, yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? It's so interesting how many movies, these movie titles, Yeah. and how some of them... And, it's, and what's really interesting about Tootsie is how they really took the framework of it, but then said, no, let's build something new. Yeah, I think the thing that, that we really were smart about is it's got, if you don't know the movie, you haven't seen it in like 15 years right. or whatever, you'll see this and think, oh yeah, that's that's Tootsie. I know that. Yeah. And then if you have seen it and you love it, you will still get the same guts of the story and the same mm -hmm. spirit of the whole thing, but not not feel like you were robbed or like yeah. they took this thing that you loved and <laughs> bastardized it and turned it into some other dark, weird thing. So, <laughs> it's not at all like that. So. Right. Uh, hey, Caitlin, yes. what are the people online saying? Oh, yes, we got lots of cues. So, cues? Jared, yeah, questions. That, for an actor, a cue means something else. Oh, okay. Oh, questions. Right. <laughs> there we go. I got uh, some A's. <laughs> I hope. So, Jared uh, wants to know that what made you want to be a part of Tootsie, especially because you said that you never thought you were going to do musical theater. Like, not musical theater, but musicals on that way. Yeah. I mean, I think that it's one of the great things about being an actor is getting to use all the random skills that you may have acquired and this was a new set of skills mm. that I hadn't really used. It's really fun. I mean, I hadn't been in them but I, it's really fun to be in a musical, turns out. Mm -hmm. People like it and the singing is fun but it, that was a thing. I was like a little terrified about doing all the singing and the dancing. I don't do that much dancing in the show, but a wee bit. And, uh, and yeah, so that was really appealing and then they asked me to do it and I didn't, you know, I peed my pants a little bit and then I said yes. So. Yeah. And here we are. And here we are. <laughs> How's yeah. Julie Halston? Oh, she's a, a legend. Pisser. She she is amazing. 
<laughs> Julie, every, every, she's, you know, Julie Halston can take a moment and turn it into a lifetime yeah. on stage. It's, it's a remarkable gift. One of my favorite moments, and maybe it's not in the show anymore, but I love when uh, you'll go see it and you'll know what I'm saying. Aren't they fun? Is that the line? <laughs> yes. Great yeah, yeah, yeah. Great yeah, moment. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah, I love it, Julie. Yeah. Julie Halston. But that whole cast... It is is really yeah. like it's a it's one of those like every everyone you love kind of shows. Yeah, and we really like uh, I, I could watch Red Rogers all day, mm, do everything, yeah. and yeah, yeah. and in rehearsal that was always like a nice telling sign that oh yeah the show might actually be fun and good because we always liked watching it. Right, we always liked watching each other, and yeah. I never quite knew what so and so was going to do, and <laughs> Reg in particular is just a, still a mystery to me in a yeah. great way. Yeah. So. Uh, what else, Kate? I love that. Yeah. So Maggie wants to know what has it been like to kind of create this brand new character out of you know something that has been there before and finding that balance. That, yeah, that must have been kind of freeing because other yeah. people on the show maybe they actually do have a like. Oh, you're playing Terry Gar. Right. <laughs> you know what totally. I mean? Like you know everyone else sort of has a counterpart. Yeah. But yeah. You, it's, you're a new guy. It's freeing in the playing of it because I don't have to worry about carrying the burden of some other like yeah. famous actor before, mm -hmm. but it's also strange in the describing of it. Because mm -hmm. people right. will say, oh, you're doing Tootsie, great. Are you the roommate? No. <laughs> um, are you are you playing right. Tootsie? No. Right. Are you, right. who, who are you? Right. So Are you Terry like, Gar? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I hope not. But, <laughs> right. And you're right to hope not. But uh, yeah, so that part has been great, but to have no preconceived notions of any of it is, is excellent. Yeah, so. I'm sure. I love that. So Jen wants to know what has the rehearsal and like the bringing it the to Broadway before opening night been? How is every how's the craziness been? How are you handling it? Uh, I hope I'm handling it okay. We're using every available. We we're done now. We froze the show. Show was frozen. Set. It's fro um, not not frozen. The musical, the musical frozen, but, that's but a, it's a theatrical term. That's right. Look it up. That it's not changing. That's right. Which is uh, new as of yesterday. Congrats. Um, thank you. Uh, so, but we used every inch of available time to run everything and change everything. And like mostly toward the end, little tiny tweaks of rhythm mm -hmm. and things, but yeah. that's, mm -hmm. uh, it's been really great. But all the rigmarole around a musical is, that's, man, it's a lot. People care. Right. There's money, there's, yeah. you know, it's, it's great. It's like being yeah. in a Marvel movie, I guess. <laughs> it's the Broadway equivalent. Yeah, it's, the, it's like a tentpole movie. Right? movie. We're like, I'm in Spider-Man, basically. It's great. <laughs> Not Spider-Man the musical, even. Spider-Man's like, it's... Right. Yeah. 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 One of the good spider man Yeah, no, that's good. Ooh. That's good. Yeah. Uh, speaking of the, uh, the other Spider-Man, Gideon Glick was just here. Uh, <laughs> he was in that for a while. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. he was in that uh, that play that everyone at Broadway.com loves. I mean, we, yeah. talk, we talk about it often yeah. still. It was called Significant Other. You took your shirt off in it, and we all talked about your body. Right. The people on stage and maybe people in the audience. I don't right. know. Uh, that that was special. Wasn't yeah, it? it was. And yeah. like another, that was another great group, a genuinely nice group. And to do that kind of, that was like a weird Broadway success story. I mean, not in terms of making money, right. but in terms and of like just being Broadway, a play yeah. that people, someone loves, gets behind Jeffrey Richards and yeah, uh, and like moves it to Broadway, and like we all get to do this thing again, which was so great. And yeah. Gideon, I mean. What a what a dream that yeah. guy and his new show too. I mean, geez, that guy's oh, on fire. Oh, he's doing fine. Yeah, don't yeah. worry about Gideon Glenn. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's got a nice fine. dog. <laughs> so everything's great. Nice job, Gideon. Do we have a final question, Kate? Yes. Final question is Tina wants to know how do you just like take care of yourself and in the midst of all this and like preparing to do these shows? How do you how do you do it? Self care. My self care. <laughs> uh, I try to get as much sleep as I can. Mm -hmm, that's that's hard. really that because I will, if I am tired or hungry, I'm a real cranky sob. Is it so, hard to come down after the show? I mean, yeah, like, that's yeah, the, I'm like sure. the, the preview time was the strangest time because. During rehearsals, you're on a pretty regular schedule yeah. during the day, and then during the show, now we're on a pretty regular nighttime schedule, but when you're getting up early and staying up late, yeah. and then you get home, and you're like, you know, especially yeah. being in this kind of comedy, you're it's you're feeling buzzy afterward. It feels great, there's people coming, you have to say hi, you go mm -hmm. have a drink, you say, you know, sign people autographs at the stage door, which is also new That's to always... being in a musical. Oh, yeah. When people don't really stage care about door. the play. The stage, stage door scene. The stage door. <laughs> um, so yeah, just to making sure I take care of the sleeping part and, and, you know, exercising between or around when I can just cause I yeah, yeah, take your clothes off. You want to feel okay about that. Sure. So sure. Yeah. Nothing crazy. Though. A little less pizza, maybe. 
Yeah. Yeah. A little less pizza. That's not all. worried about you. Yeah. Uh, well, are there any other dream musical roles now that you're uh, an established oh, Broadway musical? Yeah, now that I'm a Broadway musical. Maybe Guys musical. and Dolls on Broadway. Yeah, maybe Guys and Dolls. Let's bring that back. Mrs. Maddox, my high school theater teacher, would love it. Oh, I'm sure she would. Um, no, I don't really know. and I don't know enough musicals to know this, so right. write me something great. You, you have know, a lot of friends that know musicals, though, so yeah. maybe they'll come up with something. Yeah, I hope Bull Durham happens. I loved that yeah. show. Jeez, that was one of my favorite. And you played the... Um, uh, Tim Robbins the part. Tim the Tim Robbins the part. Pitcher, which was, That's a good part. It's great. I feel like he might take his shirt off, too. He, he does. He does. Just this a is, theme. It's a theme. <laughs> yeah, it's a theme. Let me out of this prison. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so much for thank coming you. by and spending I'm sure you're normally napping but thank you for yeah. coming here between shows thanks so much this guy will be on stage again in just a few hours in Tootsie the Marquee Theater it opens next Tuesday yeah happy opening thank you uh, hey Caitlin why don't you take us out Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are live five every single day on Facebook. You can listen to us wherever you get your podcast by searching for hashtag live at five and hitting that subscribe button. Be sure to tune in tomorrow when we talk to David Furr of Burn This.